after you finished this first initial interview with Nicole Peters, tell us what happened next. Uh, as I said before, we were pretty much done with the interview. We stepped out to see if any new information had come in. At that point, Lieutenant Wilson advised us that uh, Nicole was a runaway out of Central Camp. So I believe we took a few minutes, then we went back in and uh, started a Miranda with Nicole. And was going to question her in regards to the runaway status. When you learned this information, did that change the nature of how you were going to proceed with Nicole Peters? Yes, sir. Explain for us how so and why. Um, up until that point, we had no reason to believe that she was lying about anything. Um, and then, obviously, once you find out she's a runaway, it's, she ain't telling the truth specifically about some of that, so there's a possibility of some other things as well. What did you do then when you had, had learned that uh, Nicole Peters was listed as a runaway by her mother? Uh, basically, when we went back in, we explained to her she was no longer free to leave at that point due to the fact that she was uh, listed runaway from Seneca County. You specifically advised her then? Yes, sir. Did you describe what that meant in, in sort of layman's terms to her? Basically, she wasn't leaving. Was she under arrest? At that point. Technically, without being in handcuffs, yes. 